guys, welcome to Thursday. 14 degrees today. Yes, Chino, we know you don't like us waiting, wasting time. You're a man after my own heart. I just realized that coming down to the barn and starting the vlog is kind of like us going to our job, us going to our work. Dishes, all this has got to go up to the house. All right, let's feed the ponies. We should just have uh, dishes down here so and, and store cake in that fridge so when we're hungry, we can't Man, eat. we should and do ice that. Cream. Cake and ice cream and all the and candies. Chips. For when our trainers come. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, a good morning. Welcome to today. Today is going to be fabulous. Today we're shooting a bunch of things. You do the horses, I'll do the ponies. What about you do horses and I do none? How about you do the ponies? Let's do it. Come on. Come all right. On, feed my boy. All right. Well, then feed your boy. Hurry up. They'd be waiting. When it comes with all this. When you were a baby stuff. and you started to move in your bed, I fed you. You didn't even have to cry. You said, Mama. You got to eat all night. I didn't. No, their food doesn't last all night. It's coming. It's coming, Finny. It's coming, Stormy. It's coming, little polka dot pony. Little peekaboo pony. Why you always got the gunk on your eyes? It's like she walks in spider webs. Right, hold on. Hold on. You are green. And you are over here. Or else. King, Queen Gabby will come and get me in trouble. Uh-oh, too close together. I'm like Gabby, see? Gabby is up at the house still getting ready for the day. We're shooting a bunch of videos, so she wants to be ready. Our trainer's coming really soon, so we need to be ready. We've got a lot going on this morning. A lot of work stuff going on. We've kind of been slacking with all the shopping. I wanted to clarify, too, what I meant the other day when we did the role play that how other people treat you is your responsibility. I believe that. But obviously, like I said, there are some exceptions. Nobody should suffer from abuse. Nobody should stay somewhere. They're not wanted. Somebody, nobody should suffer at the hands of another. What I was trying to show you guys was how to turn it upside down, how to change things, how to let people know that no matter what they say, it is not ever gonna hurt you. Don't get mad, get even. I believe that. I also believe in standing up for yourself. You guys know whenever people call me on stuff, I stand up for myself, I stand up for my kids. We stand up for ourselves. Like, even though I stand up for myself, I never let it crush my spirit. I never let it crush my heart. I never let it take away from who I am. It's a hard thing to succeed at and it takes years and years and years of practice and even though I've been practicing for years and years and years, I'm still not awesome at it and that's okay. As long as you keep practicing and keep trying, you will never ever fail. You will always succeed in the end. Unfortunately for all the people that hated us role playing, I'm gonna do it more. I'm gonna do some more of it. Eventually, I'm gonna say something that's gonna click with somebody out there and it's gonna change their life and that is my goal. Hey, Pony. Like, Gracie, Gracie changed my life. Like, you guys remember Gracie? She was so fat. I mean, she's still a little fat, but she was so fat. I looked at video pictures the other day, so fat and so spooky. Remember I told you guys Gracie is our spookiest pony? It's a lie, she's not that pony anymore. It took a long time, but eventually she got used to all the crazy that is our family and she got better. I guess he really wanted his food. He really wanted his food? Yeah, so he unpinned his ears. He unpinned his ears? Cause I told him, fine, no food. And then he unpinned his ears. Good job being strong, Sophie. Cause it's my food until he does what I want. He can get it. Yeah. He's like, he can't be like, give me it. I don't know. I was never, I, I never raised you like that. All you had to do was look at me with those beautiful eyes, and I said, here's the boob, Sophie. What if I had ears back like that, meaning get away? Oh, I would still give you food. Yeah, Finn can't. You did that. a lot of bad things to me in life. Finn you cried all the time. I never I slept was, for three I, months. Finn. Yeah, and he's just a horse. But he's old enough to learn. Yeah, is he learning? Yes. What about if in the morning his hay has been gone for so long that he's so hungry that he can't help himself? Kind of like when you're so overtired you cry and you can't help yourself. What if that's the case? Cut all this out. Cut all this out. That's another lesson. That's another whole lesson in itself. Sometimes you gotta be humble. Sometimes you have to recognize when 
you were wrong. And let me tell you, I am wrong a lot. Not as much as you guys tell me I'm wrong, but a lot. Living your own life and making your own decisions for your own self, doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. They're your own choices, your own decisions. But yeah, I, I'm wrong. Are you ever wrong? Yeah. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Is it okay to be wrong? Yeah. Is it okay to be wrong, Gracie girl? She's like, just give me more food. Okay. So, food. yeah, more food. They're like, that's it! Did you cut me back? I did, I cut you back. Well, Who's I was like, did you one? cut me back? <laughs> She, she's, she's giving me the side eye over there. She's like, who told you to cut me back? Was it that man that came and gave me shots? Don't let him come back here. Gracie's like, am I gonna get some grass today? You're not gonna get some grass. I'm gonna go back there. Who's very, very friendly unless you have an altar? Yeah, I'm gonna cut the grass. Cut it all away. I don't know why I'm standing around here talking to you guys. Didn't I tell you? We have a whole big day ahead. Um, a whole big maybe day. because yeah, it's gonna take forever to do makeup. Uh, she is gonna take forever to do it. She's not doing makeup today. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Before a while, I thought that I wouldn't break. Ooh. I need something else to clear my head. Someone to tell me how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice. Stop and just compromise. Gabby has arrived at the day by day barn, ready for work, looking gorgeous. Oh, Gabby, I love your haircut. It looks really cute with just your split ends gone. Looks good. Looks really healthy. Take my hair? Yep. Can it still go down in a V shape? No. Because it's straight. Now. Yeah, turn around. Let me see. Yep, straight. I kind of like that look too. I like both. Which look do you like better? Straight for straight hair. And then V shaped for girls. Oh, we need magical hair. So her new heart halter is obviously too big, which is okay. Harness. Her new harness is too big. I am going to adjust it right now. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use some horse stuff to How adjust it. So I used the um, horse elastics. Come here, Raleigh. Hey, is that my water? Yeah, we might as well share it because you never drink a whole one. Hey! Line. Molly. I walk her. And I, uh oh, I don't know if it's going to work. She took my water. But I elastic, I put the elastics right here so that it made it short, smaller. And I think I'm going to try something else. I'm going to put elastics through this bottom hole here because the elastics are moving. All right, I didn't really think that through very well because I don't know how we're going to get it off. We'll have to cut all the elastics, which will be a waste of elastics. So it's just going to have to get put away until she's big enough for it. Or until Gabby wants to put it on again and do all the important things for it. Now we just put it on and let her get used to it. Then yeah, but she it. ran and it fell off. It's because she's playing with Ruby and she ran in a hole. Okay, barn is clean. We have 15 minutes till we have to get you ready for lessons. As clean as it's going to get, guys. We have too much stuff. I wanted this summer to be about getting rid of stuff, throwing it out. And instead, we bought a giant unicorn because that's how we roll. But um, we have 15 minutes. Until we have to bring the horses in. Gabby. So we're gonna do what any self-respecting person would do in those 15 minutes. We're having breakfast. Gabby. Sophie says she's not hungry anymore. Pennywise is rude. I tried to see if there was an egg underneath her and she pecked me. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't put your hands underneath chicken's butts. Girls are having grilled cheese. I'm sitting down to make a grocery list on my phone. Because you have to use every spare second that you have. Also spending my spare second staring at the boys eating grass out there because I gotta make sure that they're all good. Horses are nuts though. Horses are crazy. It kind of hurts my heart to see Willow chubby. And the reason is, is that you guys have heard the elixir of life, the fountain of youth. It is not being overweight. When you're under, when you're a normal weight, it's like the fountain of youth. It gives you years back on your life. And I just see her getting chubbier and then I worry about her life. But I don't worry about this amazing girl that always wants to be a part of us. It's an hour until ride time. They're gonna be mad if I'm bringing them in too early. It's the chance of your life.
first started horses and we used to like go to the barn and stuff, things seemed so much more chaotic and crazy and nuts. And horses seemed much more like wild animals. And now just watching that made me realize like how easy they can be and how like, I don't think it's how if you have good horses, I think it's if you spend a lot of time with your horses, it can be so much more safe. All right. Even if you have to walk me around a little bit. All right. I'm riding him. He's my horse. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chino. Chino. Like, oh God. This one's hot here. Does he have a cut? It has a bite. I don't think so. Holy here. sausage legs. Was he lame? No. So sometimes horses will swell. I mean, his whole body is as hot as his legs. All right, so problems are starting again. We're having a big debate here. Let's tell them. So if he, a debate is when you tell your side and you try and convince people to choose, your side. to choose your side. So think about it for a minute and I'm gonna to come to you and you're gonna tell me what your debate is for today. Do you need to think about it? No. All right, think about it. I mean, tell me. Um, I wanna ride Finn sometimes, so I'm thinking that me and Gabby take turns riding each horse. Like every lesson we ride them on horse. So the to best- To also change it up a little bit. So the best thing about debating is that you should not be emotional. Try not to be emotional, even though you're emotional. Yeah. Be strong and believe in what you're saying. Know that it's right in your heart and you'll convince- it's happening. And you will convince other people, but be kind. I'm ready to ride my own horse. And I want to start today. Because I've ridden him before. You're feeling braver. Gabby is going to tell us why she thinks that she should ride Finn first. Because he needs training and she, like, he needs to burn off energy before she gets on him. Yeah, so Gabby feels that... I mean shorter here. It was, like, as long I've as ridden him many times before without Gabby. You have ridden him very many he times. He hasn't changed here. that much. Are I know, he's here? back to normal. Now that he's back to normal, but he does need to canter a lot to get that energy out. Are you going to be able to handle that? I'm not ready to canter him. I know. So Gabby can get on after. So they also don't like each other's saddles. Sophie loves her saddle. Gabby loves her saddle. They don't want to. And I also think Finn needs to run the saddle. So if this was up to me, I don't know what I would choose. I would just go back to the house because I feel for Sophie. I agree with her. She needs to ride her horse and she needs to be able to just be able to get on her horse and ride him. And he does do well with her. He went through a rough spot. Gabby got him through it. I also believe, I also agree with Gabby. I agree that we can't go ever, we can't go back to the time when only Sophie rode him because he needs more work than that. Like he needs more work than that. And well, that's what I'm saying. so Sophie says, right. So Sophie says she wants to ride first and then Gabby ride him. So what we're gonna end up doing is listening to what our coach says. I'm going to present all the. You will be able to ride Finn, Sophie. Like you guys don't see all the times that she's so sad not to ride her horse. Let me talk to Fiona and see what she says. Coach has spoken and she said that she, for today, wants Sophie to have a half an hour lesson on Storm and a half an hour lesson on Finn, which I think is a win-win. Sophie's still upset about it. She sometimes feels like people don't believe she can do what she wants to do. She sometimes feels like if she complains and says that she's scared, that people will hold her and make her be scared forever. She feels like when she comes out of it and she feels more confident and more brave and she's ready to do it again, people don't trust her and don't believe in her and don't let her. And I feel bad about that. That breaks my heart, but we decided to do the best of both worlds and she's gonna ride Finn and she's gonna ride, she's gonna have a full lesson on her boy. Because um, what's gonna happen is Fiona's gonna think that Finn's done and I won't get to ride him. Are you happy? For real? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we are on a little trail. We got Sophie, we got Gabby. I'm walking along. Got Sophie's first trail on Finny in a long time. And her dad cuts the grass. Their dad cuts the grass for them. 
all fresh last night. Now look at how they probably want to eat that grass. They're like yummy. They're going in this field soon. So Storm did phenomenal. Finny and Sophie did phenomenal. There's also logs up here that you down with Daddy. Alright, let me put my camera away. So we also have the dogs running along with the horses, which I always wanted to have. I was always too nervous and scared to have. It seriously, it was a big fear of mine. But what happened is that I am teaching, they need to go back on grass. We're teaching the dogs not to bark when strangers come and we're using treats. So now, anytime I open my mouth, Ruby thinks she's getting a treat. <laughs> she won't leave my side. But it's working slowly and surely, it's working. So I was really happy with how everything happened. You guys don't know how stressful it is to be the mom of a kid that's saying, I can do it, I can do it, let me. And then other people saying, we have to do it this way. This is the right way. And it's just hard. It's just hard finding the right way for the right kid. I now feel like I can have like a long rest from all that drama. Like that's a lot of drama. You guys didn't get to see it all. Like trying to like help Sophia find a happy place by not riding her own horse was a struggle. So we have a plan now. I talked about it with Fiona. We have a plan, right? Stormy Story was on fire though. Storm was so good. Like Gabby's learning to ride Storm so differently no, now. We have to get his dogs for treat. Yeah. Oh yeah. We have to go it's shopping. This is men. Yeah. He likes it. Smell it. Yeah. He likes it. He and didn't used to like men. Like all right. Let's put the boys all on grass. Where are you putting your ears at? Because I want more. Just fly. Talent. I'll get you. She's like, let me have some. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. I told him I would give this is why we need, you told him that you would give him extra uh -huh. treats? We need to keep the promise. Yeah. Because he doesn't like being lied like to. Like, honestly, I still love this horse. I still love Gabby and him together. The dogs are exhausted from all that lesson. <laughs> brush your hair, I said. It'll be so fun when they're teenagers and they brush their hair and they wear nice clothes. I don't yeah. care. Basically all that means is that we spend a lot more time waiting while she does all that stuff. So we are headed out to do our uh, weekly grain and shaving shopping. Actually we did grain and shaving yesterday but they didn't have enough grain so they have it in now. So I have to go get the rest of our grain and then we have to go get chicken food. And the girls promised the boys that if they were really good at the vet visit that they would go to the dollar store for them. To get stuff. And it's an excuse for Sophie to get stuff. You're gonna get a huge water bottle that I can keep um, uh, the arena, like bring it. She's still wearing a long sleeve. She's still wearing a long sleeve. It is, I don't know what the temperature is, hot. So uh, do you guys remember not that long ago we um, had a psychic read two of our horses, Stella. I'm so glad I chose for her to be read before. Stella and Finn. Stella and Finn, and Finn said, what is the dollar store? He doesn't understand he what the dollar store is. He wants to go there. And it's because Sophie is a dollar store oh, addict. I forgot my money. Well, go get your money. Good thing I didn't. Like Girls are both wearing their new shoes. So yes, we all see your beautiful shoes. We're here to get yeah, something for icing Finn. Sugar. Icing sugar for the horses? To get in my shoes. No, to go in my shoes. Oh yeah, okay. All right, what are you getting, Missy? Okay, let's get <laughs> chips for the horses. Finn, let's get mints. Chips. Why don't you get mints? Finn cannot have mints. Yeah, chips. Or chips. Oops, sorry. What are you getting? Just, just, just go. It's your own business, she's saying. I also realize I'm going against the thing. We're the only people in here. Sophie doesn't want me to see what she's getting, but I have a rule. Look at, I was reading because of you should exfoliate your skin. You should try that. Oh, there's a blonde one, yeah. Those are cute, but I like your bun without that. My favorite broom for the barn is just this cheap little dollar store broom. I don't know why, but it sweeps the best. What's the problem? What? It's Toby. Toby. That is Toby. And then there's a Molly. And a Molly. And then a polar bear and that. And then a puppy down there. Sophie's getting glue and candy. Good job. I put away a bag of chips. Good job. Okay, so uh, we just stopped at the grocery store too because tomorrow night I have a girls' night. Whoa, 
That's super exciting. Um, somebody said that they wanted to see uh, Gabby's backpack that we didn't show. This is it. This is the plain, plain Jane old fashioned backpack that she was been wanting. Sophie's got a pink one somewhere. It's super cute. She's been using it as a purse, right? Yep. All right. Are we ready to go home? Days that we ride, I always feel so much better, like so much more accomplished, so much more like, I just feel better knowing that our so horses have had, thirsty. like have worked and, and it makes me feel nervous and sad and upset for poor Chino who sits and waits while we ride because he's still lame. Not concerned about how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice. Stop pulling the dice and just compromise. It's the chance of your life.